the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. Today is Sunday, May 9th, 2021, Mother's Day, and this is the Sports Vote Campaign Update. So the New York gambling numbers are already being challenged as too high. It also looks like they're going to be uh, making this part of the state. It's not even clear if these independent operators uh, like DraftKings, uh, et cetera, are going to get a piece of this. So don't get too excited about the gambling uh, advances in New York. The lies in the public domain concerning uh, statistics, especially financial statistics, extend far beyond the unemployment numbers, which I've reported for about a year now, that they've been reported about half of what they really are. So basically, this is all about overselling the American dream, making up numbers, making people think things are better than they are. Uh, It's probably been going on a lot longer than I've been paying attention, but since I've been paying attention Uh, It's clear to me that they've been puffing these numbers by at least 100 percent. So the Coinbase IPO has been uh, pretty much a flop. It's trading at uh, quite a bit less than the IPO range or the IPO figures. Uh, The DraftKings NFL tie up had no effect on the stock price. I'll get to that a bit later in this uh, podcast. Uh, Bitcoin prices are fluctuating all over the place. Uh, I don't know how the SEC can see this as a stable anything. Uh, They're considering the ETF applications. Again, uh, one of the main uh, citations as to what they're looking for is price stability. Hello, there is no price stability. The unemployment numbers are uh, still very high. Uh, The continuing claims are still about 16, 17 million a week. So we're far from out of this mess, no matter what you hear on your particular media outlet of choice. Uh, Google is saving about a billion dollars a year from work from home uh, changes that have already been made. I think that's very substantial uh, and something to keep an eye on going forward. I think it's a good uh, thumbnail sketch of what's going to be happening here in terms of uh, companies saving money from this and it just creating a better quality of life uh, for everybody. So there was a report of a 20% income surge. This is a bogus to put this headline out there. Uh, this is all borrowed money. This is like running up your credit cards uh, and putting the cash advances into your savings account and then claiming that you're uh, You've got lots of money in the bank. It's really a lie. I saw many, many media outlets reporting this. It's totally bogus. Um, NFTs, um, I call them another fraud token. That seems to be all the rage. You're going to see a crash in this as well. Uh, DraftKings is going to have to restate their earnings uh, after the SEC makes them adjust. Uh, you're going to see a change in their in their backwards earnings, non-earnings. They've never earned a penny from day one. They lost about a billion dollars in 2020, and they're losing even more money this first quarter. I'll get to that in a second. Soccer, social media, boycott. That's very interesting to watch. Uh, I personally think that social media is a net negative. Uh, I don't think it produces anything positive for the world. Uh, DraftKings, uh, again, gambling is for losers. DraftKings lost 87 cents a share, and they're puffing the numbers of Q1 2021 against Q1 2020. Hello, Q1 2020 was the shutdown from coronavirus. That is a completely dishonest thing to do is show the numbers. Plus, they're going to uh, they're going to have to restate. So you're going to see this number go further negative along with the numbers from last year. Uh, they're buying customers at an increasing loss rate. It looks like the market is finally starting to wake up. To that because they reported their earnings on an up market day on Friday, late, by the way. The first quarter ends on March 31. It doesn't take this long to put your numbers out. They're probably puffing as much as they could. It didn't work. The price went down about 3% on Friday. Looks like people are finally starting to understand. The market is finally starting to understand that they're buying customers at an increasing loss. So, uh, yeah, I've said that for a while now. Uh, There's no profit to be found anywhere. They're just taking money out of the stock market 
and they're putting it into bonus bonuses and stuff to acquire customers. But if you can't acquire the customers at a profit, the more customers you get, the more money you lose. So their uh, earnings or their non-earnings uh, are continuing to rise. They spent quadruple the money on marketing that they did against the prior period. And they basically lost a dollar eleven for every dollar they took in in the first quarter of 2021. Gambling is for losers. So the economy is still weak. Uh, we still need to support the economy with these programs, um, the programs that are out, and probably more. The infrastructure plan coming. As I said, I'm going to pay attention, close attention to that, to see if we can't dovetail into that somewhere uh, in the infrastructure plan. Because I've said for quite a quite a long time now that that ASM and in sports markets are an infrastructure plan. So thank you and uh, have a nice Mother's Day. Bye now.